Good morning. How is everybody? Hey, I just want to tell you that someday is here now. That's right, someday is here now. Because, <laughs> guess what, guys? You cannot get there from here. Because as soon as you get there, well, guess what? You're here. So what are you going to do here and now to improve the world for others? What are you going to do here and now to improve the world for yourself? What are you going to do here and now to improve the world for your family, your kids, your parents, your uncles, your aunts, everybody around you? What are you going to do to be part of the new aware paradigm that we can change the world? And we can not only change the world for the better, we can not only improve the strength of our bodies, we can do it while improving the world for others. That's right. So what are you going to do? Are you going to sleep through life saying, ah, I only got these choices. Ah, I can't afford to buy healthy food because it's more expensive. Well, have you ever looked at the price of a freaking uh, bypass surgery? How about the price of your death and these things? So, you know, the new paradigm is here. We have a choice. We can say no to the artificial ingredients. We can say no to the to the to the, the medical association pumping us full of drugs. I was talking to a family member the other day with some acute health issues and their doctor actually told her don't ever take any herbs because they can be really bad for you and have really bad side effects. They got her so pumped up with so many drugs and believing and having to sh ha and that 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 they are the get-all, end-all. And she's got some things that, no question, require a medical doctor. Medical doctors have a place in life. But to say no to healthy medicines, herbs, things grown out of the ground, if you want, you can use the word grown by God to take care of us. It talks about them in every spiritual text in the whole world. It talks about how everything we need comes to us and is already here in abundance. These herbs are here to heal us. So maybe if she's having side effects because of some healthy herbs, maybe the medicine is the problem. So what are you going to do to change that? Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing to change it. <laughs> and it's taking effect in my body. I'm feeling difference all through my body as I've been making one little change after another. Any of you guys saw my video before? You know, I layered in some exercise, layered out certain foods, and now we're layering in a few other things with my life. And, and I got to tell you guys, I don't miss the other things. I don't miss the kind of meat that comes from cows that are sick their whole life and on antibiotics because I'm eating grass-fed things. I'm not missing the, the eggs that are chemical and toxic and are laid by chickens that never get to move in a box because I could buy eggs of chickens that are running around the field eating the grass and the seeds and, and enjoying nature. Yes, they cost a few dollars more, but they cost a whole lot less, a whole lot less than the health aspects that I'm going to have on the other side. My body is cleansing itself out as I make the healthy choices, and I feel it. I feel better. I feel stronger. I'm still dropping weight off, not super fast all the time, because that's not my goal. My goal is a healthy body. Americans don't eat any fat. They got a no-fat diet. They put a bunch of garbage and sugar in it so things don't taste like fat, like like cardboard when they took the fat out, 30% of your calories should come from healthy fats. I eat a few tablespoons of coconut oil every single day. Now, I hear other people saying coconut oil is a saturated fat. It's bad for you. Talk about, it's just ignorance. And I don't mean that as in a bad way. It's just they don't know because we've been told that any, any congealed fat is unhealthy and liquid fats are healthier. And yet many of the liquid fats we're being fed are GMO and garbage and highly, highly, highly toxic. So go get yourself some, some unrefined, fr uh, cold pressed coconut oil and go ahead, taste a spoonful of it. It actually tastes good. Get yourself some coconut ice cream made with natural ingredients or make it yourself instead of the dairy ice creams that are in the store that are just laden with toxicity. Oh, here's another thing I find funnier than hell. 
you know, hear the people saying that uh, RBST milk is just the same as conventional milk. Well, guess what? Maybe it is. But that's because conventional milk is so laden with hormones, antibiotics, and pus. Yes, the same pus that comes out of your cuts when you got an infection is filling our conventional milk. So yeah, the RSBST or whatever milk, the growth hormone milk, is probably the same as the conventional milk. It's poison, poison, poison. I'm not saying don't drink milk if you want to have dairy milk. Go find some raw milk. Find somewhere that sells it. Raw grass-fed milk. Go buy some butter. Grass-fed butter. Goat butter. Go buy some cheese. Grass-fed cheese. All natural. And don't make it a big part of your diet. I'm not doing without. I enjoy those things. But I can make healthier choices for them. And wherever I can, I can eat nuts instead of prep, prep chips. I can eat fruit instead of, 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 of fruitsicles, instead of drinking fruit juices, okay? You know, make some choices. When you're reaching for a drink that you want to have and you're at the store, heck, even Walmart sells kombucha, an amazing, amazing fermented drink made out of a mushroom. Super, super healthy, super, super delicious. Reach for one of those instead of a soda pop. If you really like the bubbles, the carbonated, get some sparkling water or make your own. You don't need all the sugar that goes with it. Soda pops are toxic. Even the best of them are poison. And most of the ones that everybody drinks every day are absolute and total poison that are killing, killing the body. And we advertise them to our kids. Gosh, I saw something the other day. Do you know how many packets of sugar packets that's i guess a teaspoon in a packet are in the smallest soda that they sell in the movie theater like 23 the big one's got like 44 come on man coca-cola must be one nasty tasting thing if they gotta add that much sugar because you put that much sugar in a cup of water and it's gonna make you puke and yet cokes are delicious and drinkable what the heck is in them well you don't have to ask what's in them you can go look at it and I'll tell you what, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to suggest a book here. I make no money on this book. It's, it's the Food Babes book. I don't even remember the title of it, but it's Food Babe. Look her up. She's phenomenal. She's not a dietitian. She's not a doctor. She's a, she's, she's a, a mom. She's a, somebody that was just concerned about her health and saw what was going on out there and started blogging about it. And she's changing the world. She's changing the world. She's part of the new paradigm, the paradigm that is sweeping the world, the paradigm of awareness. The paradigm is I'm not going to get rich on the backs of others and then try to help them with charity. Not the paradigm of we need a world government because most of the people screaming that we need a world government, they don't want world unity. They want world control. Well, you know what? I love people. I love people all over the world, no matter what country they're in, no matter what everything is. I want to change the paradigm everywhere for everywhere, everybody, and bring the new awareness in. I am going to be part of the new awareness. I am part of the new paradigm. The paradigm that says no to toxins. The paradigm that says no to GMOs. The paradigm that says no to electing the two same parties that are owned by the big banks again and again and again so they can keep doing the same crap they're doing. The paradigm that says the FDA doesn't have my back. It's got the corporation's back. If they didn't have the corporation's backs, they wouldn't be approving so many damn poisons. 10,000 chemicals in our food, and only 500 of them have been tested by the FDA. And they haven't been tested in conjunction and matches with all the other chemicals. So you know what? There is no way to ever know what all these chemicals are doing to us. So let's just strive to not have them in our bodies. You have a choice. You have a choice. You don't have to have any bodies. Now, somewhere around this post, you're going to find a link. If somebody else reposted this, find their link and talk to them, chat with them. They may or may not be in a business that helps to promote the new paradigm. If they are, find out what they're doing. Find out what I'm doing. What am I doing to help people avoid these kind of toxicities in their foods? And what you can do to change the world, too. I don't care about whether or not I make a dime if that dime doesn't come from helping make the world better, making life better, making the world a better place. So hey, that's my rant for the day. Any of y'all that missed my videos while my family was in town, I'm back. Peace.